Toys R Us was my family. I have spent the better part of my adult life working for the company, so it has been thoroughly devastating. Thirty thousand workers are losing their jobs. The whole company is going to liquidate. You now, my understanding is that financially, Toys R Us was actually doing fairly well. Is that the case? <laughs> yes. They walk away with all this money, and hardworking, loyal, dedicated people are left with nothing. We saw the changes when 2005 came in and they took over. We went from public to private owned. The company just didn't seem to care anymore. It was harder and harder to get that family feeling, know that we were going to be taken care of. And you saw a big change? We did. Suddenly there was no investment in the people. It was just, you're just another building, just mm -hmm. sell some toys. And eliminating a lot of full-time positions, which a lot of people lost their health insurance. Right. So as a result of that takeover, wages and benefits suffered. Correct. Mm -hmm. The liquidation started in February and we kept saying, well, what's the severance, what's the severance? Every week they were working it out with the bankruptcy judge and then we were more than halfway into the liquidation and that's when they let us know that we were getting nothing. So 30 years and then you left, let go without a penny. They had originally said that there was going to be severance for the first wave of stores and two weeks later through the bankruptcy court they said severance is zero. It's been a family for us. You don't stay at a job for 30 years and not gain connections with the, the people you work with. The people that have been there for so many 30, 40, 50 years, now they're sitting around looking like, well, what else am I going to do? I want to be able to know that in some way my future is certain. And with the way that retail is looking right now, it's kind of frightening. I want to be able to put my, my whole self into a company, but then it's like, how can I be excited for the future when people have spent their 30, 40, all of their lives with a company and then in the end stuck like, well, what do I do now? I'm making a very important point, and that is when people on the top treat working people with such contempt, people are going to say, why am I going to do my job? Why am I going to go the extra mile, right? Why should we? We're going to get double-crossed, and that's a vicious circle. I'm uh, unemployed right now. I was in the first wave of the first 180 stores that were closed. We were sold a bill of goods because they said in September when they filed for Chapter 11 that we were regrouping, everything was gonna be fine, we were all gonna be fine. It just been a really ill feeling and enough to ever work for retail again. All I know, for 20 years I started as a part-time sales associate. It's a hell of a way to treat people. It's sickening. Mm -hmm. it's, it's sickening mm -hmm. to have people that bend over backwards <coughs> their whole life and to just have it ripped right from under their feet. this company, these two companies, walk away with $470 million and live with themselves? Well, that is the question. <laughs> I think you know it better than I do, that their concern is not for the people who built the company, mm -hmm. people who work at the company. You are just numbers on a piece of paper. People are like, oh, retail is such an easy job. It's They just stand around, smile, and that's not it. We give you guys the experience. We, we put our all into making sure that you're happy, your kids are happy. We just want something to show for it. We work hard. I've um, gone on two job interviews, but neither one of them offered health insurance, which is a, a deal breaker for me. I have a husband that has some health issues. This is a tough time for you all, I know. What you're doing is sharing your experience. And there are people who are going to watch this and they're going to start nodding their head because they're going through the same experience. You're not the only people. I didn't think anybody really wanted to hear our story. So I appreciate everybody's support and can only hope for the best.